three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Athena 2 rocket and the Lunar Prospector spacecraft on a voyage to rediscover the moon. ATS activated. And there is our separation, first stage separation. Altitude 11.1 .1 miles, 19 miles downrange. And we'll begin first with Joe Boyce. Joe? So we feel like that we have taken a giant step forward toward returning to the moon, uh, a great ride, uh, a healthy spacecraft, and very shortly we will start to do a whole series of other things that will continue to demonstrate that we're going back to the moon and taking some important measurements. This is uh, truly a multi-dimensional team of the scientific community, industry, NASA, other federal agencies, and now the state of Florida engaged in a program to nurture and support a new generation of vehicles, a new generation of spacecraft, new opportunities to explore. The uh, separation maneuver over Australia was right on cue, and the uh, deorbit assist maneuver over Hawaii was uh, just as planned. So the vehicle performed beautifully. Um, the team is, uh, is, as you can imagine, extremely thrilled that uh, this the vehicle performed as well as it did. Uh, two configurations, the second configuration four months after the first, and a second launch site is a monumental achievement. And uh, it's it's tremendous success. We feel very good. Flight looks uh, good. Pressures look good. The official liftoff time. First motion for the Athena 2 off the launch pad.